Hey, it's Mike from Arnold Tutoring. Here's a good example of how joint distributions work, your joint density functions, when we're talking probability. Um, there's a device with two components. Each, uh, the device fails if either of the components fails. So uh, if one of them fails or if both of them fails, then the device doesn't work. The joint density function of the lifetimes of the components measured in hours is the function st, where s is between 0 and 1, so its lifetime goes up to 1 hour, and the lifetime of the other one, t, goes up to 1 hour as well. Set up the integrals to determine the probability that the device fails within the first half hour. So we're looking for the probability of failure in under 0 0.5 hours. Right, things are measured in hours. So the way I like to think about joint density often is um, kind of like a Venn diagram. So I'm going to say the first device is device S and the second device is device T. So there's, uh, a couple, there's three different ways that this fails. The first way is if just S fails, so I'm going to shade that in here, just S fails. Uh, the second way is if just T fails, so S survives the first half hour, but T does not. And then the third way is if they both fail during the first half hour. And that's how, what we want to think about when we're setting up our integrals. So I'm going to do it in two steps. You could do all three separately, but I'm going to do it in two steps to sh just so that uh, we're saving a little bit of, of time and integrating can sometimes take some time. So I'm going to do this green section first. So that's the section where S, and sometimes it helps to write it down. So S fails, T survives. So I'm going to work from the inside first, and my integral will be, uh, I need S to fail, so I need it to live from either 0 up to 0 0.5 hours. And that means I'm going to be dealing with DS on the inside, and we know our density function always goes inside the integrand. So we're going to integrate over the density function of ds from 0 to 0 0.5. That's basically saying, okay, s has to live only somewhere between 0, year, zero hours and 0 0.5 hours. So in other words, die within the first half hour uh, or fail. Uh, and we're also, again, in this green, we're saying t must survive. That means we need t, I'll continue with the green, the t integral has to go from 0 0.5 to 1. Its lifetime has to last at least half an hour, um, but, it, but it will obviously die within 1 because that's the maximum that they gave us in the question. Uh, and so that's the second step of the integral. And that takes care of this green section, again, where s fails and t survives. The second integral we need to add, so this is one one half of it, and then we're going to add because it's like an or situation, right? It s fails, it t survives, or t fails and s survives or fails. This is important. The orange piece is t surviving, uh, I'm sorry, t failing and s surviving, right? Just this part. But we also want to include this red piece, which is T still failing, but S failing as well. So that we want to do both of them in one here. So if we need T to fail, again, I'm going to start on the inside with T has to live between 0 and 0 0.5. So now I'm going to integrate over DT. And my uh, S can go anywhere from 0 to 1. It actually doesn't matter in this case which order you do it as long as the integral on the inside, so the limits here on the inside, the limits here on the inside integral correspond to the uh, variable that you're integrating over. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, the first one is S failing and then and T surviving. The second one is T failing and S either surviving or failing. It doesn't matter. We've told S that it can go anywhere from 0 to 1 lifetime. So if it does die within the first half hour, that's this middle portion in the Venn diagram. If it 
survives past 0.5 and dies before 1, then that's the orange piece here. So make sure you're not double counting. That's why I like to use the Venn diagram. Hopefully this is helpful. You can always send us more questions. Info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.